hope you're all doing well. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Shannon and I like to talk all things sustainable fashion, sometimes beauty and sometimes lifestyle, but a lot of my content really does revolve around vintage designer handbags. So if you're into that kind of thing, make sure you take a look at my other videos and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It helps me out so much. So in today's video, I wanted to show you step by step how I like to clean my designer handbags. Now, the products that I'm going to be using today have been gifted by LuxGuard. So thank you so much, LuxGuard, because if you've watched any of my other videos, I always just use baby wipes and then a RM Williams leather conditioner that came with my RM Williams boots years ago. So I reached out to LuxGuard because I already purchased handbag straps and stuff from them. And I asked them very kindly if they would maybe send me some products to try and I would try it on my channel. So this way you guys get a very genuine first impression of these products. And if you want to go ahead and buy them for yourself, I'll leave it all linked below. This bag here, you've probably seen it. If you watched any of my other videos, you would have seen it before. It is the Louis Vuitton Pochette Accessoire and it is a vintage one and I purchased it from eBay probably a year or so ago and I absolutely love it. The only thing is the zip is a little bit warped and it's starting to bother me. So I just thought, you know what, I'm going to try and sell it and I haven't marked the price right up. I've sold, I've priced it to sell and that way the person, when they receive it, they're not going to be disappointed because they got it for a really good price. So therefore there are some minor flaws. But it right now, it doesn't look great, but I promise you, once I give it a really good clean, it will look 10 times better. So I'm just going to run through all the products that I'm going to use to clean the bag. Now, the first one isn't included in the LuxGuard pack, but it's because this is only really specific to Louis Vuitton bags because they use brass hardware. So the first thing I'm going to be using is Brasso, and you can just get this from your local supermarket. And I use this with a microfiber cloth and I polish up all of the brass hardware and it makes it look brand new. This step is time consuming, but it is well worth it. But this Brasso can kind of get on the bag and you don't want it on the bag. So I recommend doing this step first and then that way at the end when you give it a really good clean, you're removing all the Brasso residue. So get yourself some Brasso. It's not expensive at all and you can just get it in the cleaning aisle of the supermarket. Definitely use a microfiber cloth. They work wonders. So they're the first two things you'll need for your handbag cleaning kit. Now the rest of the products are from LuxGuard and this is all the stuff that came in the kit. So everything came in a really cute little dust bag uh, and everything's packaged really nicely. Whenever I buy straps from them or anything like that, anything you need handbag related, if you need an organizer, if you need straps, they sell it all. So I'll link LuxGuard below, but they've sent me a leather cleanser. So this is obviously what you use first to clean the bag. And then you've got the leather protector. So I'm really keen to use those. And then they've also given me a bunch of different cleaning cloths and each one is for a different step. So the all rounder cloth is to clean the bag and give it a good wipe down with any dirt or anything like that. Then you've got the applicator and this is what you use to for the, both the cleanser and the protector. You kind of, you know, apply all of the product and rub it in. And then you've got the buffer and this is what you do right at the end to buff everything out and make it look, give that really nice shine. So obviously everything's still in their packets. I haven't even used them yet. And once you guys see the difference, a bit of cleaning and polishing can do to a vintage bag. I promise you, you'll probably never buy brand new again because it honestly works wonders and buying yourself the right products in the beginning is an investment because you're saving money on secondhand bags, but you're bringing them back to life. So anyway, guys, enough rambling. I almost went into a little rant about why you should buy secondhand designer items rather than brand new. And we all know that that is an absolute trap and I'm not going to go down that path. Otherwise, this video will be way too long, but let's just get straight into cleaning the bag.
guys, there you have it. I have now given the bag a really good clean. And as you could see from the cloths, there is so much dirt and grime that came off this. And I cleaned this not long ago. So it really made a difference using proper products because I found that when I use those, it picked up so much more dirt rather than just baby wipes. So I do think that buying yourself the proper products is going to be worth your while. I am so happy to have them. I'm about to go through now and clean all of my bags. Now, a couple of things I noticed straight away was the all-rounder cloth. It pulled off so much dirt with nothing on it. So I don't know what the consistency of this type of cloth is. It's not microfiber. It's quite soft, but look at that. Like that was after I wiped it down with the clean part of the microfiber cloth. Then I used this and everything came off. So I can see why that's called the all rounder and why they use that to get rid of everything. It must just be the type of cloth. I'm not sure, but it picked up so much and I was in shock. I was like, Oh my God, I cannot believe that before I thought I was cleaning my bags. Now I'm just like, okay, now this is clean. So I just went over the whole thing with that. And that for sure got rid of most of the dirt and the grime. And then when I used the applicator cloth with the leather cleanser, I noticed that it really cleaned the leather parts. Well, obviously that's what it is designed for, but as you can see there, a lot more came out. So that was amazing. And I just gave it a really good clean and the, the products smelt really clean as well. So I could tell that the bag, I think if you're someone who has a bag that may even have a bit of smell, I think wiping it even on the inside with this, I mean, don't quote me on it, but it might help get rid of some of the smell. And then once I gave the bag a really good polish and clean, I used the same applicator cloth to apply the leather protector. Now with the leather protector, I will say a little goes a long way. So I use two pumps, but you probably only need one pump per side, if that, and you kind of wipe it all over and that smells really nice. It gets rid of any of the alcohol kind of smelling products and it really leaves it with a nice, uh, I can't explain it. It's more of a, it's a nice smell. It's almost like a lotion kind of smell. And I applied that and then you're supposed to let it sit and dry, which I did. And then you wipe it all over with the buffer once it's completely dry. And when I feel it, it does have a bit more of a waxy feel now. So I can really tell that it is like a full on protector that has dried on there. And if you have leather bags, it is going to help protect your bag so much. And I use that on the strap as well. That's something my RM Williams conditioner didn't do. It kind of just buffed out and made it shiny, but this definitely has more of a matte kind of finish and it definitely has a protectant kind of residue. You can feel it, it feels different, but it's not sticky or anything. It's not getting on anything. It's just, you can feel there's a different texture there because of the protector. So there you have it guys. I am really, really happy with all of those products. If you would like to purchase a kit for yourself or a gift for someone for Christmas, I'll leave that link below and make sure you check out their website because they do handbag straps, handbag organizers, pretty much everything. I have a couple of straps here from Luxguard. This one here is my crossbody strap for the pochette. And then they also have other ones like little chains if you want to jazz your bag up a little. Thank you so much to Luxguard for sending me these products to try. And guys, I cannot recommend enough if you are wanting to clean up your vintage bags or or just any of the bags that you currently have. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you got some tips and tricks. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It helps me out more than you know. And also if you have any questions at all about anything used today or just questions about vintage bags, please don't forget to leave a comment below and I'll be sure to get back to you. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks guys.